Hey, I'm Becky with the good hair. In case you didn't know, I finally made affiliate on Twitch. And what better way to solidify my spot as a streamer on Twitch than actually unpacking and moving in. This is the next part of the whole unpacking series. And it's 2007. Oh, sick. New feature, guys. We get to see the entire house. So like, look how many rooms we get to play with now. Why was the halfway thought across the stove? Don't ask me open, it's just there. It was allowed to be there. I didn't have another spot to put it. It was only allowed on the stove. Imagine how cheap it is when you make it from scratch. Pizza is way cheaper to make it from scratch. I like frozen pizza, don't get me wrong, but pizza from scratch, I made so much of that during the pandemic because I have a bread maker and I can actually make dough from scratch because making dough from scratch is the same recipe as like making bread and you just leave it in there and like the machine will make it for you unless you want to make it in like a specific dough form. Hi, Spot Attack. Why can't a fly stream on Twitch? Because it would immediately get swatted. You're hilarious. Thank you. No, the bong bakes aren't completed. Actually, I, I, I didn't want to do it yet. Um, but I, okay, I'm gonna do one quickly before we start this room, and then I think, like, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like this is the last part of the game, but I'm not entirely sure. If it's not, it's because, uh, oh wait, am I wrong? Hang on. Okay, no, it's not the last part of the game. This is the second last part of the game because. There's four. There's no way that there's four bong breaks already. There's like, that's, that's impossible. I'm already tipsy. Among Us is gonna be fun. It will be fun, trust me. No, there's no way that there's four already redeemed since we started. No, it's two days ago. There's one right now. There's four total, perhaps, but no, I'm gonna do this now. Um, I will be back and yeah. Four bong breaks, you're wild. <coughs> the one has been redeemed. There were four. No, there's no way that there's four because I'm looking at the stream right now. I just didn't clear them. <laughs> well, I tried to clear them myself. I'm just really bad at doing all of these things now that I'm an affiliate because I'm able to do them. But it is what it is. Um, how do I, like, can I just, I, okay, I'm stuck in the game. They were old ones, okay, that's fair. No, then that was me trying to clear them thinking that I had them cleared, but I didn't. Um, what am I doing? Okay. Holy fuck. 
do we want to start in the living room? I think we're going to start in the living room. This living room is a mess. I don't get why we are unpacking with all of this stuff here. Doesn't make any sense to me, but sure. We're moving into an already currently lived in house. And that goes in this bedroom? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 1.8 more points until you get marbles. You'll get there. Don't you worry, child. I mean, if I felt like playing marbles, we could play marbles, but I still need to figure out the maneuvering. I'm going to be like JJ the first time he played marbles with you, us. He didn't know any of the mechanics, and it is what it is. <laughs> I spent all my money on bong breaks. Hey, I appreciate it. The gir your girl needs a break sometimes, and if it comes in the bong variety, I'm also not mad about that. We got a board game. More pictures. Ooh, is that a PlayStation remote? I guess I have to put it here. We're like half unpacked already. There is a PlayStation, yeah. Oh, and we have a GameCube. We have a GameCube, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll just put that over here. Oh, uh, I should have actually just put that. No, that's the board game. I can't fit it down there. I'm gonna move that there. Move that there. And I guess put the games on the shelf. Because the books are on the shelf. And it looks like other games are on the shelf. I don't even know. <laughs> the year 2000 called. It wants its house back. <laughs> Welcome in, Eleven Tree. Yes, we are currently unpacking. Ooh, is that a blanket? That looks like a nice blanket. Um, nope, oh, we'll just put that with the rest of the games. Uh, what can I do with this book? Is this a book? Looks like a coffee table book. I guess we'll leave it for now. Chuck the board game under the table with the sewing machine. Can I do that? Oh, I can do that. Sick. All right. And we put the book there. Nice. And we can't do anything with that. So, okay. It wouldn't be a waste, Spanish Baldwin. I think it, like, it would be fun. I still have to learn how to play with the game to begin with. And we'll end up playing it on stream at some point. Um, it wouldn't necessarily be a waste. You would just literally watch me fumble around with my new keyboard and mouse being like, oh yeah, let's play marbles and hope for the best. Or like, maybe we just follow whoever is in first place all the time. Please go in the stove, Becky. We don't have the room. <laughs> I don't think I can open the stove. Yeah, I can't open the oven. Oh. We'll put that in the drawer. And there's the cookie jar and some sugar. I'm sold. <laughs> Spanish Baldwin wants to do marbles. All right. It will happen. You just need to remind me that we are playing marbles before the end of the stream. Well, we will probably have to do marbles after this. Yeah, we'll just do marbles after this. We can save, oh, yeah. We got magnets, okay, sick. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing with the shank? I put it in a drawer, did I not put, oh no, I didn't put it in a drawer. I was trying to put it in a drawer. That's what I was doing. We were putting the shank away in the drawer.
putting all these tiny ass plates away. Ooh, a water bottle. And that towel goes in the bathroom. Wherever it goes. Right there. Cool. <laughs> Why are there no doors on the cupboards? I don't know, Tombstone. I, it gave me a bit of anxiety, too, if I'm being honest. Like, just seeing it. It's, it's un... It doesn't feel right. <laughs> You're a towel! Oh, that's recycling. Uh, uh I don't want to put that there. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll put them there. That's fine. Extra sponges. I lived somewhere, or I lived in a house where someone took off all the cupboard doors. You would recommend it? I mean, like, I get being able to see all of your food and stuff, but, like, looking at all of your, like, cups and dishware and everything like that, the top ones? Okay, like, on top, I guess that would make sense, but anywhere else, uh, I don't know. Like, I like having covered doors because you don't look at everything, like... You don't see the mess that's inside. It's, it's like, nice. My sister, or one of my other sisters, I guess I should say, um, she has glass so you can see through and you just see all of the, like, dishware and stuff like that, which I thought is kind of nice. But uh, having it all just open is kind of, like, weird. Or, like, feels weird to me when I think about it. It feels foreign. Um, are we putting... I don't know. We'll put you in there. Because I don't think I can hang you anywhere. Um, there. And we'll leave you there. I think we're done in here. <laughs> nice walk. Thanks, Victor. Yeah, it makes everything easier to put away. I guess that would make sense. Super convenient. But I'm not trying to start a cult. <laughs> Don't worry, dink memes. We're like, nobody's starting a cult here. We are literally just trying to unpack. Yet. Yet being the operative word in that sentence. We, we start here and we expand, right? Like, we don't have to do a lot of work. We just kind of got to work together. Oh yeah, I got drawers in here. Sick. So this is just extra? Is that all that is? Mm. Is that perfume? Oh, nail clippers. Okay. Um, we'll put the nail clippers in there. Ugh. I don't need the brush in the sink. I need the brush in the drawer. So I guess the toothbrush goes in here. And you can go in there. And you can go in there. <laughs> Becky is your only friend. Why would she start a cult? Becky is practically your only friend. <laughs> Open. Like, I, I see, I like what you did there. This is just, this top, top tier. He's just filled with jokes, ladies and gentlemen. I've always wanted to join a cult. <laughs> I don't know if you actually do, Sam. I don't know if you actually do. It sounds like all fun and games until, you know, everyone drinks the Kool-Aid and then you're like, where did everybody go? Where'd every- like, why did everybody leave? I thought we were just getting started. Gotta have the purple drink Kool-Aid. Perhaps. Uh, like, I like- I like grape Kool-Aid. But I think I'm more of, like, a watermelon or tropical punch kind of girl. Like, those flavors were pretty good. Definitely not a cult. We gotta like put like a, an advertisement up somewhere. Definitely not a cult. Hmm. 
so does that go up no that well we'll put that up there we'll put that down there and that back there <laughs> becky three months from now let's play hunger games in real life it'll be so fun <laughs> no open the thing is we don't play hunger games in real life we turn it into squid games <laughs> Cherry's your go-to, Sam? Yeah. I mean, like, every flavor of Kool-Aid is really good. It's totally great. Like, top tier beverage. 10 out of 10 would drink and consume. Number one up. Um, oh wait, that's probably a pajama. I got so much stuff here. Oh, guys, look. We upgraded our monitor. We have a flat screen now. Ain't she pretty? Um, books. Lots of books. Is that a note? Oh, that's a drawing. Oh, look! It comes with pins! I do not like TP on the bathroom floor. It's gonna get moist. If I'm being honest, Dank Memes, nobody has gone to the bathroom yet. I can't move it. That's that's the only upsetting part for me is I can't actually touch that. I can touch everything that I moved around it, but I can't touch what's already there, which is kind of very upsetting. Hi, banana. Thank you for stopping by. We are unpacking. That is exactly what we are doing right now. We are unpacking. I am moving in. We are in 2007. Just putting stuff away in the house and hoping for the best and just kind of chilling out. No risk, no problem. I was only playing in Legends anyways. The programmers are trolls, evil geniuses. <laughs> What do you mean it says there's an error? Oh yeah, the the connection issues and stuff, yeah. I don't think everybody's given up on SMG Victor or like given up on the game necessarily. Like I think it's been worked on, but I think just people are waiting for it to be like factual. Like you don't want to say that something's fixed when it's not and then have everybody be mad and have things get postponed even longer. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't think SMG is, like, super aware of, like, what the community's up to or anything like that. Like, I'm sure they care about, like, what they're doing. But, I mean, I think at the end of the day, they just want their game to work and they want people to play the game and not be mad. So they're going to fix it or hopefully work on something and go from there but until then i'm gonna play whatever i feel like so i'm probably gonna play risk by the weekend because we have a tournament next week but i don't even know when the new schedule is coming or like the new schedule comes out on sunday so until then we're just hanging out it definitely seems like smg only cares about maintaining a functioning game and not taking it to the next level absolutely like i mean they're making money either way like they're producing a game it works at a basic level it gets played they make like i don't think that their profit has been like huge like i'm sure it was once upon a time but like new map packs new boosts of maps coming out switching everything out if they had the dab emote available all of the time 110 percent it would be like sold out or like if you could sell out of the dab emote it would be sold out all the time it would be the only emote that everybody would buy and it would just be insane oh why is this okay here we go is that a slipper that's a shoe that's just a regular shoe okay we are just taking shoes out. 
My mouse is fucked. I'm in this room. Can I put the thank you. I can put the thing down. It's interesting that this just kind of comes out in like an entire shape. Oh, um, gotta close the drawer. I think a neat function of this game is the fact that it makes you complete a task before or like make sure that something is like taken care of I guess before. What is going on? There we go. We can put it down. How many rooms have I unpacked so far? I have unpacked the bathroom and the living room? the living room we have done the bedroom or we're working on the bedroom we have unpacked the bathroom and the living room and we still have the dining room yeah we just have the dining room after that and then I guess it's sorting things out afterwards And then the next level, it opens up these two bedrooms, which I think it means that I have to do all of this as well. Is that like a sketch pad? An Etch-a-Sketch? Some sort of drawing tablet? I think that's a drawing tablet. That's what I wanted to do before. Or do we really need the pants on the hangers? You'd think you'd get banned for playing Risk within two hours on stream? I don't think so. I think you would do just fine, Mr. Slim. <laughs> Mouthy. I don't think, like, I mean, you could. I don't think it would be an issue. I think you'll be totally fine. But you never know. And rage hard. I mean, you see Spud. I feel like he kind of rages, but not in like a super loud kind of way. Like he gets, he's been mouthy. I think I've heard him like cuss a little bit on stream. I've punched my desk before, thrown my mouse. Dude, I wanted to do so much of that today. And I'm like, I am not replacing this equipment. They bought this equipment. I would rather have it work than not work, and I also don't need added stress of this stuff not working. So I did most of mine in terms of just like venting with my team because I'm glad that my manager was also just as frustrated about the situation as I was and super apologetic about everything, but it still doesn't make it any better that I still have to do somebody else's job 10 times over and hold hands with this other person that we're working with and we just know that this is how the next forever is going to be working in this relationship with this vendor so we're just kind of kind of hope for the best and prepare for the worst at the same time and just keep going close the drawers I'm surprised it's not playing any more music. I like that I just folded up this apron 
Like, I'm pretty sure that's part of somebody's work uniform. But... Are we getting into pajama territory again? Yeah, we're getting into pajama territory. Okay. So we do that and that. I think you're also part of... Oh! Part of a set. Does that go in the bathroom? Yeah, that goes in the bathroom. Little weights. I wish I could fold clothes that fast too, man. Like, I have so much laundry that I have done, still need to do, and it's the putting it away part that is hard. Like, washing it, no problem. Folding everything, hanging everything, putting it in the spot that it belongs, such a task. I would rather just live with the pile, but I know that I'm better off putting the pile away because it's clean and you don't have to see it if it's put away. Yeah, I loathe doing laundry. I like I like being busy and I'm very good at doing like tasks and completing things. Yeah, why take it out if you're going to put it like put it on the next day or like anything, you know? Like it's just a lot of work just for like little to no return on that matter. Cuz all you're doing is just cleaning your clothes. Someone do my laundry. I would, like, I can't wait for a day where, like, I could just pay someone to do my laundry. But even paying somebody to do your laundry and they don't do it right, then you're complaining about somebody doing your laundry. And then you're like, well, I could just do it better myself. So it's like, well, why didn't you do that in the first place? Then you would have saved us all the headache of having laundry done ever. Like, just do it yourself and the world will be a better place. But I hate putting it away so it sits in my spare room. Worth every pay a penny paying someone else to do it. Yeah, but are you going to put it away too? Like, you... There's, there's a lot going on. Like, I know you have to put it away. It'll be easier to put it away once it's all like... Imagine doing y'all's own laundry. <laughs> That's the part I pay them for. So essentially what we're talking about is housekeepers. We are adding housekeepers to the roster of things that people would like to have in the future. So then I'd be working from home and I'd have a housekeeper. Um, what are we gonna get this guy to do? We got a few options. I guess we could do the thinker. I think the thinker is a good idea. We'll put, oh no. We'll give him the think. I don't know why we've got wigs, but we got wigs. Oh, I guess I can put them up, right? One book at a time. My mates usually do it. They clean. I mean, that's not a bad, like, that's not a bad deal, duck. Like, if it works for you, it works for you. It just seems more affordable for me to be my housekeeper. And unfortunately, that also turns into being the dishwasher or the emptier of the dishwasher and the laundress, the housemate, or like the maid, all of the things. One day, we'll be okay.
women equals a dishwasher. <laughs> I didn't say women are the dishwasher. I said I just happen to be the dishwasher. Or the the one that puts the dishes away. Yeah, Kyle's the dishwasher, see? It's not just it's not women. It's not just women. Men can be dishwashers too. So we're gonna start in the living room. I don't know where this is supposed to can you just be on the couch? I think you could just be on the couch. Sick. Um you probably go here. Yeah. This not too sure. You don't go in a doorway. You don't fit on a shelf. You're not going in here. Yeah, you don't belong there. You don't belong there. <laughs> I don't know, Sam. We gotta figure it out. Pete in <laughs> Pete's dishwasher isn't coming in until October. <laughs> I don't know about October, but I th I think his dishwasher is on its way. I thought it was coming sometime in August. It's August now. Like, end of August, he gets his dishwasher. I don't know where this radio is supposed to go. Can I put you in the kitchen? No. What about the bedroom? Yeah, all right, bedroom, sick. I think you end up there. Okay, we have a drawer. You can put the iPod not in there. Put you on the shelf. The little calendar thing. Mouse. That's wrong now. We put this 20-sided die in the drawer. And the switch. Is that a switch? Oh, that's like a DS? I think that's a DS. That's right away. We put that there. That there. You can go in the closet. That can be closed. That goes there. Yeah, like an actual dishwasher is being delivered. Don't worry. You lost a 6v1 in true random? That is very upsetting. I am very sorry for your loss open. I hope you can recover financially from that situation. And if not, I hope you can be compensated for your loss. Thank you for your five bits. You watched Step Brothers today? How was it? How do you like it? How do you feel? I hope you fell in love with it. And if you didn't fall in love with it, I'm not going to be sad. I might just be a little disappointed. I'm, I'm waiting on bated or like with bated breath, Sam. You got to tell me you loved it. If you didn't love it, I will understand, but I will be sad. Ice chalk bag can go in there. I've seen it a billion times. Still love it. Yeah, you do. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so it's not your first time. It's not that you're <laughs> good. Um, what room is flashing now? Just the kitchen? What did I do in here? Oh, you don't belong in there. Do you belong? In here? No. No. Nice. Talladega Nights over Step Brothers or Step Brothers over Talladega Nights? I'm I'm bad at reading these freaking over and under signs. I've always been bad at it since I was a kid. It was just it was bad. Yeah, like, Talladega Nights has a special place in my heart, 
but I can't say that it's better than Step Brothers. Like, yeah, Dank Beans, like, both is good. Yeah, okay, this side better, that that side. Okay. Thank you, Jack, for clarifying. Um, yeah, like, I love Step Brothers more than I love Talladega Nights. But did I watch Step Brothers and Talladega Nights back to back one time when I was on an airplane and I had it downloaded on my iPad on Netflix? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, the monster eats the better side. Sam, they like, do you have any idea how much stuff has been like evaporated from my brain since I was in If you find these oddly satisfying, feel free to hit that like button. Or leave a comment below on how you would actually unpack your stuff. If you want to catch more good stuff, hit the subscribe. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitch, live. Okay, bye!